Hello all and welcome to Wayne's Allotment. So what have I got for you this time round? Well uh, I take delivery of some, I think it'd be safe to say rare sweet pea seeds. Um, so I'll tell you a little bit about those and we get them sown. Uh, it's also the time of year for me to do or to start my tomatoes so we're getting I'll show you what, what I'm doing there with regards to the varieties of tomato and we're getting so then uh, and I also bring you up to speed with regards to my dahlias um, that I'm growing from seed there's, there's quite a few of you that have shown an interest uh, in uh, the fact that I'm growing dahlias from seed so uh, I'll bring you up to speed on that um, I'd like to thank everybody that just watches my videos, never mind anything else, just watches them. I mean, I think that is brilliant. It really is. It's nice to, to know that there's a lot of people out there who are interested in what I've got to say and what I'm showing you. Um, and please like and comment. And if you comment, I get back to all comments. So um, I will reply to you. And if you really like what I'm doing, then uh, please, uh, please by all means subscribe. And if you subscribe, just uh, hit the bell. And you will then be notified every time I put uh, a new video up. So without further ado, let's crack on. Thanks a lot. I've just come into our spare room that I have my grow lights uh, set up in um, just to have a look keep an eye on everything as you do and just to check the sweet peppers and um, I'll just spin you around and show you what's uh, what's going on as you can see there I've just come in to have a look because uh, can you see roots are just starting to come through so I thought right better just we'll have to get and pop them on but what I've also noticed as well looking at that one if I just zoom you in hopefully it'll show up there you go can you see that let me see if this will work just there flower coming there's a flower head just coming there and there's two more coming on the top there now these were that is I'm trying to have a look at what the variety is the variety is cayenne red and that was sown the 19th of the 11th and believe it or not that is a little bit later than I normally sow my peppers but that has really blown my mind as to how soon that has started to come into flower. I've just checked the others. None of, there's no others that are in flower. But that obviously needs potting on along with uh, one or two others now that they're starting to get to a decent size. But I just thought I'd show you how well the chilies are doing or the peppers and the fact that that has now started to come into flower already 
absolutely brilliant right so I'm now going to get and pot on these peppers um, it's not until I've actually got them out I've just realized how well advanced they do I don't know whether you can see let's uh, this is gonna be a bit awkward uh, but can you see like flower there another one there some more there there's another <laughs> can't see for this oh boy uh, there's but this there's, there's quite a few flowers come in and as I've shown you with regards roots roots starting to come through I can't see very well there the sun's glaring at me that big it's gone up to 25.8 in the uh, the greenhouse now so hence the t-shirt it's warmer in here than in the house <laughs> right so yeah as I say you can see the roots are starting to come through I've got about 10 here to do um, I have already checked to see if I can get the labels off because I'm thinking I'm gonna pot these on and if I'm not careful the label plan will go straight out the window but they do come off so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to let me just whiz you around so you can see there we go peep free the uh, Dalefoot wool compost I'm going to use that for potting potting on the peppers so I'll stop it there get and pot because we're using these bigger these are about uh, four and a half inch pot something like that they're a lot bigger so and what I'm going to do is get the compost in these get these all sorted and then I'll bring you back once I'm well on with potting my peppers on. So I'll uh, I'll bring you back in a minute. Right. So I've got this wool compost. It's quite quite nice actually. When you look at it, although it's it's quite soft to touch, but you look at it and it looks like it's got a lot of wood chip it would be very easy to jump to the conclusion and say that's wood chip that is it's but it's really nice stuff for potting on I can see it's so what I've done I've just put a little bit in the bottom of the pot I'm then going to get this pot now drop that in so that's about the right sort of height and just try and work a bit of compost around this and then we'll take the pot out I'm not too sure whether this is going to be the correct way of doing this it's it's working seems to be working I want to just try and make it that I've got some compost into the pot before I then lift it out I don't want I, the secret is I don't want to go too big of a pot uh, I believe I'm, I'm not sure please tell me if I'm talking right or saying right or wrong but I believe that peppers do not like going on into too big of a pot so let's see what happens yeah that's that's not bad so we'll take that out this will give us a chance to have a look at the have a look at the root oh look at that can you see look eh? what a nice root ball there is there oh I'm very very pleased with that no wonder it's uh, in the flower right so we'll put that in we'll firm that down nicely these will these will go back under the grow lights uh, and they'll be they'll be left 
under the grow lights we'll now take the that's a good reassuring sound of the label let's uh, Stuck to that nicely, and there we go, all nicely potted up. And as you can see, uh, quite a few flowers coming on these. So, I will now get on and do the rest. There's all sorts of sweet peppers and everything here, so I'll get all these done and I'll bring you back once I'm finished. Okay, so there we have it all all labelled up uh, not bad at all and I've just noticed this is another one I don't know whether you can see very well there well, I can't see the screen so well but again that's another one that's in flower but yes we're uh, they're all potted up now they'll go back in the house go back under the grow lights and uh, We'll see how, uh, to see how well they thrive. So that's me peppers all potted up. Right. Uh, I may have mentioned a while back about some uh, seeds, some uh, sweet peas that I was hoping to have delivered. Well, they've come. Uh, a big thank you to Andy, I think it's Andy160676 is his uh, YouTube channel. Um, these are uh, a mix of sweet pea that he has developed himself and he's named them after his mother and they're called Hilda's Mix. I've got a nice little card from Andy and as you can see I've not even opened them yet all packaged up nicely so we'll have a quick look and just see how many seeds we've got I uh, I was watching his video I'm going back now oh it's got to be December might have been early December I'm not sure and um, I was watching a video and he was offering these seeds to anybody that wanted to get in touch and uh, I do like sweet peas so I thought to myself why not so these are really nicely sealed up I'll have to rip that through. It's all, it's all in what looks like um, kitchen roll, but it's all been taped up as well. Done a really good job there, Andy. Thank you very much. And there we go. Nothing as you would expect from the di any different, really, than anything. The sweet pea seeds. As you can see, there's, there's a very good amount there. That's really, I reckon there must be about 100 seeds there. Easy. There's a lot more than you get in some of these packets from garden centres. So, uh, the next job will be to get and sow these. Um, we'll, we'll get out in the, uh, in the greenhouse and get that job done. Um, and we'll probably use some of that new peat free sea towing com compost that I've got but yeah I just thought uh, again thank you very much Andy that's, that's the card that he's uh, more fingers and thumbs there's the card obviously a picture of his mother on there but thank you very much very much appreciated um, we'll get them sewn and get them started uh, straight away right uh, as you can see I've started sowing these are uh, Hilda's mix off Andy uh, the compost is some sieved uh, clover that I've got I'm using it basically because it's here 
Um, it's it, it's dried out a little, but I've had this. Uh, this is a 24 cell tray. I've had the I put the compost into this, and I've then um, sprayed it with some water just to uh, moisten it a little. Uh, this will then have some. This will have vermiculite put over the top. I wasn't going to. I was going to just put some ordinary compost over the top, but I think I'll put some vermiculite over these. So we'll leave those there. Get some vermiculite on it, and I'd say I think this is quite quite touching that. Uh, and he's done this, named these after his mother. I think that's that's something to be really proud of. Um, it's it's very good. Good thing. Show somebody cares. Let's put a bit more in. These will go in the house. They won't go in a propagator, or anything like that. They will go in the well I was going to say in the same room they'll go on the bench next to the grow lights so that they do get a little bit of benefit from the grow lights um, so I'll give these another water in while they're here uh, this water I've just brought out from in the house. Uh, I was going to leave these in the greenhouse and put them under a propagator but I think what we'll do we'll put them straight into um, let's say on the bench let me let me spin you around um, yeah I think what we'll do we'll put these now straight onto the bench next to my grow lights so they'll get some beneficial light They'll be that little bit warmer in here. It's been uh, minus 2.9. Let me just reset that. There we go. It's currently 20.5 in here at the moment. Hence the t-shirt. Um, it's a bit like being in the house, to be honest. So yes, that's, um, and again, let me just show numbered up number 34 they're all numbered up so they'll go they'll go in there so that's now Hilda's mix sweet peas I have got some left I can do another tray like that very easily if needs be so we'll see how these go so uh, once again thank you Andy very very much appreciated for sending these out to me uh, I do feel quite uh, quite honored that you've um, you've chose to send me send me these seeds thank you very much well you catch me out in the greenhouse because we're sowing tomatoes now I've got I've got some new varieties one of which I just showed you there but I've got some new varieties that I've not grown before uh, these are two of them these are from Robinson's can you see there we go let's let's be sensible red currant and yellow currant uh, and they are as they say they are current sized tomatoes now I know you're gonna turn around and say why would anybody want to grow a tomato that's the size of a currant don't worry I've already asked myself that question but <laughs> I saw these at Malvern uh, I saw the plants that they were growing on and they were just a mass they, they did look like a currant bush they were just a mass of these little tomatoes and I thought why not we'll grow these even if it's just for the novelty value you know we, we, think about it we we all do our own thing we've all got our own favorites that we want to grow um, things that we want to try and me here I've decided I'm going to try those so they're something new to me and I think they are something new 
to the tomato growing world but I may be wrong so don't shoot me so we're trying those another new one that is new to me I've never come across is ship saint f1 uh, as you can see I bought these from a national trust property uh, when the wife and I were out visiting um, they were at a reduced price and I thought why not let's let's have a go so that's something new um, a favorite from last year that we're doing this year is crimson crush they're very good blight resistant did very well in the greenhouse I'm going to grow some of these in the greenhouse and I'm going to put some out on the plot as well so that's another variety um, what else have we got here ah yes and then we've got money maker I like these full stop um, I've grown these I think I've grown I've grown some of these every year since I've been growing tomatoes and as I've just said I just like them full stop so we're giving them a go uh, I'm going to show you some more now that are going to mean absolutely nothing to you but this is a variety that I call Bacardi cutting a long story short the winter of 2018 2019 um, when I'd got no tomatoes and we were buying tomatoes from supermarkets um, we managed to cross a pack that they were quite large and I decided to save some seed out of those and I grew them last year and they were very nice tomatoes and they were going under the title of supermarket tomato and then last year sadly we lost Bacardi our eldest dog and uh, I thought what a fitting tribute I'm going to save seed again and I'm going to call it Bacardi so so don't go looking in any seed catalogues for <laughs> for Bacardi tomatoes I mean you might you might find them I will admit I've not looked myself um, but yes yeah, so that's the story behind those um, and what we've done as uh, I've labeled up I'm using these little three inch pots I've labeled them up in relevance to the numbers that is for Crimson Crush see the number so that's 31 and what I've also done I've got here is because of the Crimson Crush this pot has got um, clover compost in it this pot has got the peat free and I'm doing the same with the Bacardi tomatoes but all others are being grown in the peat free compost so what I'll do is because I've got I tell you what because I've got that one let's do the Crimson Crush we'll start with them so I'll just turn you around um, and show you what I'm doing I won't um, I won't show you me sewing all of them but uh, these will get sewn and then they'll go into the propagator in the house so I'll do these first few show you me doing them I'll bring you back when it's all finished right so we'll start again as I say with my numbering process 31 we'll start with these crimson crush some of these may as well rip that off some of these are going into oh that's nicely packaged oh never come across that before that's nice uh, some are going in peat free um, and some are going into uh, some of these are going to go peat free some are going into some clover I'm going to put only put about 10 or so seeds try to space them out a little give each seedling A good chance to get going I've got 
several packets of the Crimson Crush just as a as a trial and then sprinkle over the top with the Miculite and that's that's the first of those done I will now get on and do all the others and once I'm all finished I'll bring you back and show you what uh, what we've got okay so there we have it they are the tomatoes all sown sorted and ready for this year as I say there is Crimson Crush, Moneymaker there's the Bacardi my own variety uh, Ship Saint and um, some red currant and some yellow currant in there they will now go into the house they'll be watered with the water in the house because it's going to be a little bit warmer than in here at the moment the temperature in here is 13.1 degree it's been down to minus three um, but uh, things seem to be doing okay in here and um, yeah we'll get these in the propagator and we'll see how they progress um, along with of course doing the experiment of some in seed sowing peat free compost and some in some sieved clover compost so it'll be interesting to see how we how we go on well I've got some of a little bit different now that we're uh, gonna be potting on in the, the greenhouse here um, wife's been out shopping and so on and she's come back with this from a garden centre at a greatly reduced price it's a dwarf pineapple plant and this I'm not sure shoot me if I'm wrong but she said something about these give off more oxygen or whatever than any other house plants and um, I don't know I didn't quite I didn't quite sort of twig to everything she was saying uh, you know only listening like with one ear really but you know how it is you know what it's like but uh, it looks like it needs potting on a bit it's in so I'm gonna go up a size slightly I've just had a bit of a look on the internet with regards the compost for these and uh, it looks like it can be almost anything so long as it is very free draining so I'm going to use um, some of that peat free that I've got um, I'm going to also put some uh, vermiculite and some perlite in it give it a good mix and uh, we'll get and pot it on and uh, we'll see how it goes I believe that for once the pineapple has ripened I believe that what you do then is you cut the top off plant this then into a, a pot and about two three years later you're back to it ripening and so on so it should be interesting I'm, I'm, I'm quite pleased that she's uh, she's come back with that and admittedly it looks a bit dog-eared it's it's obviously seen better days it was supposed to have been about 14 pound I think she said and it was reduced down to I think it was something like six pound I mean I can see why it does it does look a bit sorry for itself but uh, yeah we'll get them we'll get them pot it on and uh, we'll see how it goes so uh, I'll just show you what I'm gonna do right I'll get some of this peat free Well, we only want a little bit because of what's uh, 
with regards to what's in the, the plant already. Let's put some of this vermiculite. And we'll put a fair bit, fair bit of that. into it a little bit of perlite mix that all together uh, as I say I've, I've just had a look on the uh, the internet with regards uh, what to do about this sort of plant and uh, it was uh, it all seems quite straightforward so in fact I'll just mix that little bit of uh, clover into this as well get that all nicely mixed up bamboo there right so we'll just put a little bit into the bottom of the pot we'll get this out of here it looks quite dry to be honest you can see there's a bit of roots coming through so can you see not too bad I'm assuming that's quite a good root ball the, these exotic plants are a little bit out of my league to be perfectly honest it's not the sort of thing I'm used to growing uh, not that I don't want to um, it's just having having time to do to do everything to be perfectly honest right, let's get that worked in I don't want to I don't want to ram too much too much in take a bit of that out leave that level with the pot there we go I think that's it. There we go, all potted on. Well, that was a bit of summer to nothing, wasn't it? So, there we go, one pineapple or dwarf pineapple plant potted on. So we'll we'll see how that goes. The wife's even bought uh, a nice ornamental pot to put this in for it. So. She's, uh, she's been prepared, let's put it that way. So yes, that's it. Um, dwarf pineapple plant. Just something a little bit different for you there. Hope you enjoyed that. Right, as you've uh, already seen in the video so far, uh, my dahlias, you've seen the dahlia seedlings, how they uh, are coming along. I'm quite uh, doing quite well well I was out uh, shopping with the wife yesterday we were in uh, Aldi doing our usual weekly shop and I came across something and I thought yeah why not <laughs> I'm doing it again and I just <laughs> impulse buying um, but here we go I'll show you <laughs> dahlias <laughs> yes I bought some dahlia tubers now what we've got I don't know why they're so different but still I picked that up and as you saw was 149 I thought you know it's got to be worth a go and what I've got is three three tubers one the as you can that's quite well on the way of uh, shooting and so well that one is and that one's just starting to get some little shoots 
I don't know why it is that that one's sort of all stumpy. I suppose it's the type. And these two are sort of much longer tubers. But I thought to myself, I thought, I'll get them. Now, as I say, got them yesterday. And now that they are um, starting to, to shoot, if I'm not careful, uh, the tubers are going to dry out. Or at least that's what I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, please, because dahlias to me, although I do like the look of them, this year it's all new to me growing them at all, full stop, whether it's from tubers, whether it's from seed or whatever. I did pick up last year one dahlia plant at a reduced price. It was in flower when I bought it and that remained in its pot. Um, and at the back end of last year, once it had finished flowering and starting to die back, that was all cut back. It's been covered with some compost and kept cool. So we are yet to see if that starts to shoot again or not. But when I saw these, I thought, well, yeah, why not? You know, so what I've done, uh, well, let me just spin you around and show you what's occurring. There you go. What I've done there is that is peat free uh, with a little bit of perlite and vermiculite added to it. Not a lot. There's, there's not a great deal. Uh, in fact, it's, it's some of what was left over from doing the pineapple plant. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put about half fill that the tuber I'm then going to or the I'm going to just put that in with a bit more added round it just leaving because it's fairly moist this compost so, I'll just firm that down a little, and I'm going to leave that like that now. I, I may just give it a little quick splash of water, but nothing much. And uh, using these slightly longer pots or deeper pots, we'll put these in doing the same sort of thing as I say I saw these in the shop um, and I thought to myself I thought why not you know it's uh, I'll just firm that down maybe they need to go into a slightly deeper pot I don't know but And one more. Again, as I say, I'm using the um, Dale's foot peat free. I don't want to cover them, just want to leave them shoots just sticking through slightly uh, yeah I'm using this Dale's foot peat free wool compost uh, I do quite like this the seed sowing compost is quite nice as well by then there we go so we've got them we've got three done there because uh, that's what comes in these packs um, and I might just give them a bit of a, a bit of splash of water and um, move them maybe move them back into the house now that they've started to to shoot um, I have got 
I've got somewhere where I can keep them so that won't be too much of a problem so yeah I thought when I when I saw that and I thought 149 for three tubers and I like these pom-pom so oh why not let's uh, let's give it a go well that's it for this one thank you all very very much for watching it is very much appreciated um, the sweet peas that I've had that I had from Andy I did say I was going to uh, sow them in um, some uh, peat free compost and I ended up using the clover uh, put that down to idleness <laughs> simple as that I um, the the clover was there on the bench and I thought I may as well use that and just I just cracked on as you saw just got on and did it um, yes I will say now there's a lot of uh, this videos contained a lot of seed sowing and potting on but it's all as I've been able to do for the last couple of weeks really we had uh, what two weeks ago we had storm clara was it clara something like that clara i think uh the weekend just gone we've just had storm dennis uh it's not to, i have been around the allotment but only to top the bird feeders up that that's it i've not been able to to do anything else uh i've not seen any more damage round on the allotment um a bit more flooding uh, mainly on my plot I've noticed there's a uh, couple of areas that have uh, holding a bit of water that I've never seen them never seen them underwater before so um, that's really put the kibosh on me uh, trying to get anything done around there really I'm just hoping now that we're gonna have a bit of decent weather for next few days um, if you like what you've seen please give it the thumbs up give it the old thumb up uh, leave a comment all comments I do uh, I do reply to uh, and if you really feel the need then uh, subscribe and uh, just uh, hit the bell and then every time I put a new video up you'll be notified so without further ado we'll go that's it finished so thank you all very much again for watching and until the next time look after yourselves look after each other and i'll see you in the next one thanks a lot